Hello everyone. Let's see what the story is. So this may or may not resonate with you. Um, I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So only take it if it resonates. If this isn't your story, then the next one might be. I swear these cards are really, these cards have an intense energy because like sometimes they just, it's, it's almost like they kind of let me know when they want to be used. Like I'll just look at them and they'll, they always have very specific messages. So I feel like this is probably for a small energy group, but let's see. Message of concern, family room, courtship, unexpected income. All right, bear with me, guys. I got to see what this energy is. I just keep hearing someone wants you to come home. Somebody wants you to come home is what's like, I get like a, I'm, I'm almost, I almost feel like a sadness coming from this person. Like I'm picking up on their emotions. It's like, cause I just keep like, when I, like when I looked at the family room card, I just kept hearing, come home, come home. Official person. Courthouse, high honor. Bad health, journey, pathway, hmm. what is journey and pathway about? Because I know what these three cards are trying to tell me here. I feel like you could be going through a divorce or you're going through a breakup and I feel like this person is too prideful, but they... It's like this person just really misses you. They really want you back, but I feel like they're trying to appear as this person of honor, integrity, courthouse. It's like they're really worried about their public image. It's like somebody behind the scenes, they have bad health. They could have bad physical health. I'm getting from most, though, I think it's more mental health. Like this person is not in a good state mentally. They're really missing you. But I feel like they're not, this person is very prideful, so you're not seeing any of that. I feel like I could be talking to someone who's getting a divorce or they, they said they want a divorce and they're actually really depressed over this. But it's almost like, like I feel like this person like broke up with you or they said they want a divorce or they said they need some time apart. They did something or said something really stupid that they regret. They might have spoken out of anger. I feel like they, um, I just get a sense of pride. It's like they said or did something and they really wish that they could take it back. It's like they did something that made you see them differently or they did something that made you feel like rejected by them or like they don't love you anymore, that kind of thing. Maybe this was even like a situation where you guys were living together and maybe they got overwhelmed and they're like, maybe they just kind of blew up and they're like, I need my space. I'm not used to this. And now that you're gone, like maybe you did move out and now this person's, you know, really in their feelings and they're thinking like, wow, I made, you know, one of the biggest mistakes of my life. I should have grounded myself. I should have, you know, calmed myself down. I shouldn't have acted out the way that I did. Because I just, I, this is like public image. I'm The energy I'm feeling from these cards is about like public image. Where it's like behind the scenes, they're really missing you. They're really depressed. But I feel like they did something or they said something. And they're trying to stick to it because of pride. You know, like they're trying to, they don't want to admit that they were wrong. What is journey and pathway about? Message, wealthy man. Sudden wealth. Hmm. Mature woman. You might even be going towards someone else and that's what they're upset about for some. I feel like this person also just wants to take care of you. Occupation. Let's get into tarot, actually. Occupation lovers. What is, what is this saying? Occupation and lovers. Imprisonment. Coffin. Hmm. Let's get into some tarot. Occupation and lovers. 
What a strange energy. I feel like these cards are have said all they're gonna say though. I think the I think it's time to pull some tarot out here. Bear with me, guys. Okay, what is this story? What is what is going on here? What's going on here? Okay. So this person said or did something that they regret. They want to take it back. They want you to come home. They want they want it how it used to be. It's almost like they it's it's almost like this conversation, whatever they said, however they acted, it almost feels like it marked a before and after period in your relationship with this person. Cause they just keep getting the energy of like there's something that they can't take back. There's something that they're really regretting. And they just want you to come home. Or they feel like their home it's something about home, like they feel like their home is with you. Tell me more about what's going on in this situation here. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Why the King of Pentacles and Ten of Swords? Tower. I'm almost seeing the King of Pentacles. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. I usually see him in a good light, but as you guys know, I, I primarily channel. So I'm going to get, even though it's like the same general energy, I still might get different messages depending on the context, depending on what I'm feeling. And I mean, usually the King of Pentacles is a good card. It's someone who's stable. It's someone who's wealthy, who's financially successful. But I almost feel like this person did something bad with their money or they tried to buy you or they're they're trying to buy you like they're trying to impress you with their money. Tell me about this King of Pentacles because I'm almost getting like a it's like he cares too much. He or she cares too much about appearances or there is something with money here that caused an ending. Let me see. Well, tell me about this King of Pentacles. Tell me what you're trying to say about this King of Pentacles, please. Is this man... Hold on a second. This could be a woman, too. Take it as it resonates. Were they going through financial struggles and they took it out on you? Okay. And for some, I'm getting a second storyline. Is this second storyline, some of them were worried about um, you using them for money? Okay, so take it as it... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Take it as it resonates, but I'm actually feeling two storylines from this. I feel like for some, when this person lashed out at you or when they acted out or they sabotaged things... What you didn't know is that they were actually dealing with financial struggles. And I'm not saying that that makes it okay. But this person might not be as financially well off as they're trying to appear. They, I feel like they're not as financially stable as they're trying to appear. And I feel like this is someone who's very prideful. I don't feel like they're a bad person. Like, I don't think that they're, I'm, I'm getting a prideful energy, but I'm not really picking up on like a narcissistic energy. It's not someone that's super cocky or anything like that. It's just someone who really, maybe, maybe he or she has a lot of people that uh, look up to them. Maybe they're in like a leadership position because I just get, you know, especially with the courthouse card. I was just feeling something about like their image. Maybe they even work in law, like law enforcement or some kind of legal, you know, maybe, maybe even like spiritual court, possibly for some, like they could have a high spiritual ranking possibly as well. But I just get like a, yeah, not, not narcissistic, but just that they care a lot about their image. They care a lot about what people think. And it, it's not necessarily even for the wrong reasons. Like I said, it could be someone that's in a leadership position. And so they really want to do right by everybody involved. They want to make sure that things are just, things are fair, things are... This person cares a lot about... Um, uh, 
I don't want to say that they're not emotional. Like I do think they are emotional deep down, but I think that there's certain um, qualities that this person admires above all else, above passion. I feel like this person admires like duty, honor, uh, a sense of, of just, of, a sense of, you know, things being right, things being fair. You know, like they, they admire balance more than they, they care more about balance and stability than they do about passion or emotion. You know, not that they're not emotional, but it's just not high on their priority list, at least. But I do feel like this person does feel emotional about you behind the scenes. Like they do really miss you, uh, you know, because we were getting that energy of like, I just want you to come home or I just my home is with you. Something about a home. But yeah, I really feel like they said or did something that was too much. And I feel like it kind of pushed you away. And now it's, it's almost like they're being a little bit of prideful and they're they're trying to maybe they're almost punishing themselves in a way where it's like they just bit off more than they can chew where it's like they want to take it back but for some reason they're not taking it back and I almost feel like maybe it's like self-sabotage like they're kind of punishing themselves where again because they have such high standards they have that sense of, of honor of integrity so it's almost like they're kind of fighting with themselves and punishing themselves like well well, you, you said this, or you did this, or you lashed out when you shouldn't. So this is what you get. This is your bad karma. Now she's, now she's gone or now he's gone. Like this is it's like, they're telling themselves like, well, this is what you deserve. You did this to yourself. Um, but past all that pride, it's like, they're really actually very depressed over you and really missing you and really, you know, it's like, they want to take it back, but I, I don't, I mean, I almost feel like you would have to be the one to start the conversation. It's like, this person is so this person whatever they did if they broke up with you I feel like they regret it they don't they don't want they don't actually want the breakup I feel like they were stressed out oh anyway what I was getting with the money thing is yeah I feel like some of them could have been financially stressed and going through some kind of financial struggles and they took it out on you maybe they were getting overstimulated maybe this person could be um like have like mental health issues or or like neurodivergent or something uh like they they get um like when they get overstimulated, they might sometimes they might say things they don't mean or they just they get they they just kind of shut down and they're just like, screw everything. I'm just done. You know, I, I feel like I feel like this person might have also been insecure about money, like they didn't want you to see that they were financially struggling for others. I feel like it might have been the opposite where this person might actually have a lot of money. They're really financially secure, but I feel like maybe they um Maybe they're not very physically attractive or they're or maybe they're used to people just using them for their money or maybe it's like because there's just something that something about money that keeps coming up. Maybe they're not very. Um, it's like for some, maybe they can't understand what you see in them. So maybe they just assume that it must be about their money because everyone else has used them for money. And so they're maybe it was almost like a too good to be true mentality like. You know, like they were like looking for signs that you just wanted their money because there's something we're going to look more into it. But tell me more about the situation with money here, because it's like they, they wanted a, a peaceful home life with you. They wanted the stability, but then it's like something it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. Something built up and they just kind of let everything go. Tell me more about this money situation. Two of Pentacles, the world, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Chariot. Tell me more about this. Bear with me, guys, because it's like a, it's a really interesting energy here. Tell me more about this money situation. They may have even gotten bad advice from like other, you know, if this person's like a CEO, like a business owner, maybe they got bad advice from other professionals about relationships or about you. Um, like they might have let someone get in their head. So it's like it's like some kind of financial insecurity, but for some it's like they don't have, like I said, they don't have enough money and they are stressing out and maybe they see you as like this beautiful kind of enchantress and they want to impress you and they want to do right by you. But maybe they didn't want you to 
especially if you guys like lived together, maybe they were like, didn't want you to worry about money. They didn't want to let you know that work wasn't going as well as they were letting on. Um, or maybe if it's like, if it's like a newer relationship, it's like, they just didn't want to, it's like, they just felt embarrassed. Or like I said, it could be the opposite where it's like, they have a lot of money and you'll know which storyline you're in. If this is your, if this is for you, if this is your energy group, but yeah, for others, it's like the opposite where they have a lot of money, but they're so used to being used for money that they just don't, they don't trust it. They, it's almost like they're wanting to. It's such a strange energy because I feel like this person bases so much of their worth on money, on appearances. I feel like they're really, they've really just adapted. Even if they don't have a lot of money, they still have the mentality that in order to be successful, in order to be a good person, in order to leave a mark in the world, you have to have a lot of money or you have to have a good job. Like they have a very traditional mindset, whether they're poor or, or have an average income or have a lot of money you know, the energy I get is just that very traditional mindset where their image, their sense of self-worth is based a lot on money. And so if they feel like someone's using them for money or if they feel like they don't have enough money, they get really stressed out and they get really insecure. Because, you know, it's really interesting because the energy I get here also is that they're almost wanting to buy you back. They're almost, it, it's like they feel a lot of emotions for you. They feel like they really miss you but they're almost wanting to like, tell me about that. Like, how are they planning on buying you back? Justice, Queen of Swords. The Hermit. Yeah, because it's like they're feeling alone and they're afraid of being rejected. They're seeing you as a Queen of Swords. They feel like whatever they said or did, they feel like you're now in a queen or king of swords energy where you're more logical, you're not as open, you're more guarded, um, and you want justice. And they want to bring you justice as well. They're they're looking at the situation. They're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of you walking away. King of Cups. It's really sad because I really don't get a bad energy from this person. I actually feel like this is a very... Like, I, f I feel like somebody just really messed this person up. Like, I don't know if it was like a parent or maybe it's a like a coworker or somebody that really got in this head, in this, in, in this, in this head, <laughs> in this person's head. Um, because it's like, they just, yeah, it, like I keep coming back to that belief that they have that, that they're not valuable unless they have money. You know, that's what it comes down to. It's like, they feel like they, they don't. It's like this person is a king of cups deep down. This person actually, even though they don't show it, they actually are very emotional and, and very kind of sensitive and very gentle. I get a very gentle energy from this person deep down. You know, this is someone who's very, um, they, they, they're they a very kind person. They're a very giving person. You know, I don't get any bad energy here. But it, it might be like that person that, you know, maybe inherited a lot of money or they just have a lot of money. And so people don't get to know this side of them. People, people just immediately see like, oh, this person's a millionaire or this person's, um, you know, this person like has a lot of money. So they don't even, they, they never really get to, they never, they never try to see this side of the King of Cups. They never, tr like people, people that get to know them never really try to, to see this side of them. Um, especially if they're rich because they, you know, it's just like dollar signs immediately. They're like, wow, I could like get this person to pay my rent or I could get them to, especially because this person's so kind hearted. A lot of people know that they can kind of, um, it's a really sad energy I get. It's like, they know that they can manipulate this person to get money out of them. Um, especially if it's like a manager, like a boss, a CEO, or someone who just, you know, inherited their money. Uh, maybe they have a lot of money in like investments. It's something like that where they have a lot of money. Uh, you know, that's one storyline here at least. And it's like people, yeah, people just immediately see their money. They immediately like as soon as they find out that they have as much money as they do, it's it's like they they just kind of stop caring about this King of Cups energy. They stop caring about who they are as a person, and 
they're just like, okay, what can I do to get this person to help me with rent? Or what can I do to get this person to help me with like my sick child needs some help? Can we, you know what I mean? Like they kind of manipulate, they kind of try to manipulate this man or this woman into giving them money. And I feel like he's very generous and kind hearted and he tries to see the best in people. So I do feel like he does give people money. He does help them with money. But I don't think that he's as naive as people think he is. I honestly think, I think he's just a very forgiving, very loving, very gentle person. So it's really sad that he's being used by people like this. But I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's naive. I think that the people around him see him as an easy target. They see him as somebody that's very easy to use, easy to manipulate, um, male or female. But they see this king or queen of cups as somebody that's very, um, it's like it's easy to, you know, they, they can, like, I keep getting like the sick child story. Like, I'm like, my kid is sick. Like, if it's like a manager or CEO, they're like, my kid is sick. Can you, can I please have like a week off to, uh, you know, a week, a week paid, a, a week, a uh, week off and, and, you know, paid or whatever, that kind of energy. And I really think that so many people just see him as naive. They see him as an easy target where he's actually very intelligent. I think that he's just very forgiving um, and he sees through people. They don't know. It, it's like he's, he's got to be pretty intelligent too for everyone to think he's so naive when it, the entire time he's actually seeing through everybody. Like he knows when he's being used. He's not, he's not fallen for that sick, that sick child story. He's not fallen for, you know, he's not fallen for any of it, but he still gives the money anyway. He still helps out financially anyway. I think he almost like he might even have like a notebook where he like keeps keep keeps score of who does what. Like he's he observes. He knows when these people are using him, even if he doesn't say anything. He just tries to see the best in people and he kind of hopes like it hurts him, but at the same time he's like, well, maybe they'll change eventually or maybe they'll it's just a very sad energy for others. This person actually does not have a lot of money, but, um, again, they just, they still, they still feel like they need to have money to be worthy of you, to be worthy of love. Like they, they really base their self-worth on how much money they have. Um, and that might be that it's the same case though, where people are not able to see who they really are and really get to know them. Um, because for the other group, for the other, you know, other storyline here it's like they don't you know they don't get to know him because they're just immediately thinking about his money and how to you know get one over on him but for the other storyline where it's like this man doesn't have a lot of money I don't think he lets people see the king of cups side of himself because he doesn't feel like he has enough to offer so it's like people try to get to know him on a deeper level they try to see this in him they try to get to know him they try to find out more about him but I feel like he just wants to talk about work or he wants to talk about like his investments or he keeps it very, um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, <laughs> or he keeps it very professional. Like he tries to, he tries to like put this false image in front of this King of Cups energy so no one can see this. But it's almost like he's going to try to buy you back. Tell me how he's going to tell me about him trying to buy you back. Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. What is he going to do? Tell me about this. Like, yeah, I think he wants to make you, he, he wants to take you from being a Queen of Cups to being a Queen of Pentacles. Like, he wants to give you some kind of financial offer to buy you back. And I wouldn't... So, honestly, this person does have good intentions. Like, for me personally, like, I... I don't get any bad vibes from this person. I don't... They're not trying to buy you in a... Because it sounds really negative when I say, like, they're trying to buy you, you know? Because honestly, I do think this person is very lovable. This person, I just get such a gentle energy from this person. It's so sad that they're being used like this or that they, you know, e and like I said, even if they don't have money, it's like they just feel like they, they feel like no one would love them. It's like, I think, again, even if they, even if like they're poor, maybe it's like a family member, like someone that was very kind of macho or something that maybe instilled this belief in them that that if like growing up that like you know you have to be the provider and that's that's a good thing that's a very admirable thing to be the provider I think that is a good thing that is a that is a desirable trait but 
it's almost like that this per like this person was led to believe that that's like all they that that's all they're good for or that's that's their main purpose in a relationship is being the financial provider like the man makes all the money the woman stays at home with the kids um but like the man doesn't need to be emotional or he doesn't need to you know what i mean where it's like the man is just there as like the breadwinner and that's it and that's not that's not enough in a relationship you know what i mean and that's not if if someone if, if this, if someone really loves you, they're not just they're like, yeah, it's going to be a huge bonus if you are the breadwinner, if you're taking care of things financially, but it's only going to be a bonus. It's not going to be like the main factor that makes you want to stay in that relationship. You know what I mean? But in this person's perspective, it's like, it's like being the breadwinner, making all the money is like the main factor, the main thing they have to offer in a relationship. And it's really sad because, you know, they're actually a king of cups. They're very gentle. They're very loving. They're very empathetic. They actually have a lot to offer emotionally in a relationship. You know, I just get such a sweet, gentle energy from this person. So when I say be patient with this person, if this is for you, I mean, um, and I appreciate your comments if this resonates, you know, leaving a heart comment or, or liking the video. It really does help me get back in the algorithm. I really appreciate your support. But yeah, me personally, the energy I get from them, from this person is such a sweet, gentle energy that I, I feel like I would give this person a chance. Um, because, because when I say they're trying to buy you, it's not like a, it's not like a tradition. It's not like a controlling dictator trying to own you or trying to control you and trying to, it's not like when I say trying to buy you, it's not like that. It's, it's more like they really love you and they don't know how to be this person. They don't, they don't feel like this person is, they don't see their own worth. They don't, they don't, you know, again, they've been led to believe that this King of Cups energy is not really a priority, that money is a priority. And so I feel like they're going to bring money forward to try to impress you because it's like they love you so deeply and they miss you so much and they feel like their home is with you that I feel like they don't, and their pride, they don't know how to like take back what they said or did. They, they regret that. And so it's almost like they're going to try to impress you with like a new job or more money or like taking you nice places when it's like you don't really care about that stuff. You know, it's 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 a nice bonus. It's it's great, but it's not a substitute for, you know, intimacy, for emotional connection, you know. But um, I feel like this person, I mean... I feel like they will open up. I do feel like they will. I feel like they're going to use the money as an in, but I feel like once they see that you're not just about the money that you, that, you know, that you really just genuinely want this side of themselves, it's almost like it's going to shock them at first where they're going to be like, well, why would anyone want like, that's really like, I, I thought that men were just supposed to, you know, be the breadwinners and that's it. Why would you want to know me like this? Why would you want to know about my fears and my, my doubts and my, my dreams and my deeper side? Why, why would that, what does that do for you? I want, it's like, they're like a provider. They're like, I just want to give to you, but like, you know, you want to genuinely know who they are too on top of that. But I feel like once this person kind of relaxes a bit, like they're going to see that, um, like they might use money as a way back into your life. But I feel like once they see that the money is not really impressing you and that what you want is this more than anything, I think they're going to kind of start letting their guard down a little bit. Why the Three of Swords? Yeah, there's just a fear of getting hurt here. Because it's like they're going to work behind the scenes to get you back, but it's like they're working on all the wrong things almost, you know, where it's like you're not worried about the money. I think, hmm, let's see here. It's like they just wait for the other shoe to drop. But yeah, I think that this person will open up more to that side, but they need to know, they, they need to understand that you prioritize the King of Cups side of them over the, over the money, I think. So I hope this helps someone. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.